Hey everybody, I'm back and I just wanted to uh, make a short video tonight as a few people have been asking about reaching the high notes. Now, I'm just going to um, give you a short, um, a short introduction of why, or an explanation either, of why people are having trouble reaching their high notes. Um, this seems to be a, a similar problem for most singers. Now, let's start right at the basics. Um, first of all, if you're not breathing properly, that means down into your diaphragm, and I have done a couple of videos of that in my, in my uh, unit section that you can take a look at. That means when you breathe down into your diaphragm, your stomach expands and fills a, an air uh, tire around your stomach area. Now, this is, and on, beside that, you're going to have the abdominal muscles who are going to support the air going out. So you breathe in, expand the stomach, and when you breathe out, you are going to be supported through the abdominal muscles. The air is going to be supported. So you support the air, you pick up the note from the vocal cords, right? And then you open your mouth and let the air out. So if I want to reach the higher notes, the reason I'm, I'm having trouble with it is because I'm closing my throat by the time I get to the higher notes, right? So if I want to just sing a one, one nice big fat sound, I'm going to breathe in. Ah! Uh, so I'm, do you hear that sound? It's clear. It's, it's flowing. There's no resistance in my vocal cords. We've got all kinds of muscles in the vocal cord area. I'm not going to tell you all the different uh, Latin names of them, but there's a lot of muscles, and if those muscles get tensed up, we're going to stop the air from flowing because our vocal cords, you know, they're like two, they're two, um, they're two uh, pieces of of uh, fiber. They're 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 fiber. It's muscle, and this fiber, if they are, are res if they're getting resistance and not flowing and not being able to, to flitter when, when you make a sound, like they start to flatter when you make a sound, right? First of all, when you're speaking, they're beside each other and they're not moving. But as soon as you make a sound, your, your vocal cords come together and they start flattering. So if the air is not able to pass through fl um, freely, it's going to tighten up, isn't it? So once your sound, your air starts to tighten up, you're going to have problems uh, getting into the higher area. So what we need to do, the second thing what we need to do is to, um, to project your voice from your diaphragm. So if I am just sending my voice out, <coughs> if I'm just sending my voice out, like I'm calling over the, um, over the park, um, over the ballpark, uh, whatever, playground, hey! Now you notice the, 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 the sound just flows right out. I'm not pressing it here on my vocal cords. And if I continue to use my, my diaphragm to project the sound, then I'm going to get the higher notes much easier. La, hey, 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 hey. So I'm not having any trouble reaching the higher notes because I'm projecting the sound. Now I will. Um, I'd like to go into this a little bit more deeply, but um, that is the basis of of reaching your higher notes. Is first of all to breathe into your diaphragm. Second of all, to uh, use your your abdominal muscles to control the air going out, and those muscles have to be strengthened like any other kind of muscles. It picks up the note on your vocal cords, which are also muscles, and these muscles also have to be strengthened through exercises, right? So you know yourself, if you go to the gym and you haven't been exercising, your muscles are weak, right? And if you do too much um, exercise, using them too much, they're going you know, to be over, overworked, they're going to be uh, stressed. And so we have to take, uh, we have to train our vocal cords uh, slowly and, and with, um, with the right exercises without pressing 
on the vocal cords without re getting all those muscles um, caught together and, and, and resisting and, and tensing up. And then we want to get the air out by articulating properly and getting the air right outside, which is our resonance area. So if we're, if we're not opening our mouth and it's going like this, you know, what happens to the sound? First of all, you're probably going to be uh, singing nasally. This is a big problem with nasal singing. We want to get the sound out here. I've been gone for so long. My life is never done. So if I continue, now for us women, you notice I changed from my chest voice to my mixed voice to my head voice. That's another topic which I'm going to be doing soon on an online coaching um, tomorrow evening with uh, Louise Leander. So you should t look by there and uh, s take a look in our, in our Facebook Live and see what we're doing because she has a little problem with using her chest voice. And using the chest voice is uh, very, very crucial for getting your sound out and, and being able to project your voice if, you, if you're not using your chest voice. So that is just a simple, simple little, little moment of, of trying to help you getting the higher notes. Um, I'd have to go into a whole song, which I will do again. I will take a song, I will get out my piano, I'm going to go through the song and show you exactly how to increase your, your, your singing ability to sing the higher notes, to get into the higher area. The first, the most important thing is don't press. Don't, uh, as soon as you feel that you're pressing on your vocal cords, stop. Then you're not doing something correctly. And the basis of all this is your breathing. If you have a good breathing um, abilities, if you're breathing properly, everything is based on that. That is our, our powerhouse, is our diaphragm. And if that's not working properly, you're not gonna be able to sing. That is the truth. And at that point, I'm going to let you go, and I hope to see you again tomorrow when I do a live coaching on this and in, in this group at 8 p.m. my time. It, I don't know what it is in America or uh, England. It's uh, 7 p.m. in um, America, six hours before. So I don't know. Is that eight, seven, six, five, four, three? It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So you might want to. Look by, uh, look by. Okay, guys, I hope that helped you out a little bit. If anybody has any questions, please put it in the chat. And um, I will answer all your questions. And if you want to um, put a, an example of your singing here in the group, please do so. And I will, um, you know, I'll give you a little feedback on it. Alrighty, have a nice evening. Take care. Bye-bye.